How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video today. We're on our Let's Play world once again. I uh, got to do a little bit of filling content uh, while things get assorted for the quest on Quest Collectors. So here you guys go. Might as well, might as well give you, give you what you want. Give you the the Let's Play world here. We gotta, we gotta expand. We gotta progress throughout the game on this world because I I really really like this world honestly the generation is absolutely crazy so yeah we gotta we gotta continue this world but uh i want to start off by coming over here and making some uh slow falling potions i think that's how you make it so uh we gotta put the phantom membrane in there it should turn it into slow falling uh, i gotta get a piece of redstone so we can make it a bit longer um i think i think that would work uh, do that uh we also i uh, gotta make sure that we start out this episode with a banger so after we get this done uh i gotta go over to our desert actually wait no i should have a bit of sand well no i should probably go over to the desert anyway and i gotta go over to the mob farm uh, i haven't prepared for this episode actually so um i'm probably gonna do a quick like cut or time lapse or whatever of gathering some sand uh because uh, yeah again i did not prepare for this video i just pressed the record button like i usually do and i started going uh thinking about this stuff on the spot okay so four minutes of slow falling per potion gives us 12 minutes total that should be enough for uh the the dragon fight so yeah today we're getting prepared um for the end dragon uh Okay, we also got to make sure that we take some uh, fire resistance potions as well to the nether. So let's go ahead and load that up, Do make them into awkward potions, and then we throw the magma cream in, and then redstone dust. So eventually in our world, I want to set up a uh, an auto brewer where we can just brew up any potion that we want, or uh, have it automatically brew um potions that we need so let's do that uh or that we get low on so i think that would be a really cool concept like uh, as soon as it gets low as soon as it detects that we have like less than a shulker box or something that of potions um or two shulker boxes maybe uh then it starts creating more potions for that and fills it up to two shulker boxes all right let's extend that i think that would be a really cool idea uh so maybe i'll finagle around with that whenever we get done with the ender dragon and that sort of stuff there's a lot of stuff that we got to do late game um i also like need a beacon for that because i would probably want to make it somewhere like underground and then make it make the actual building like above ground uh, i think it would be really really cool so okay there we go uh three fire resistance eight minute potions we gotta get we gotta go get some sand we gotta go Gather up some gunpowder. Uh, I think I took all the gunpowder away from our mob farm, so there's probably none in the system. Uh, and if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and get sand first, log off for the night. All right, yeah, we already have four stacks. So, oh, we can make one stack of TNT. Boom. All right, so one stack of TNT is good, but we need more. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go over to... Oops. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go over to the desert real quick. I'll, I'll do that first, uh, because if we don't have any gunpowder again in the mob farm, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, wait around, do a little bit of AFK so I can get some more gunpowder for some more boom uh, later. I need to actually make like one of those easy to make uh, gunpowder farms that you can just make, like make in the ground uh because i think you get better mob spawns if the from creepers if it's in the ground right is that why that's the new meta and not building the big thing in the middle of the ocean anymore pretty sure that might be why i gotta look into that let me know in the comments if you guys search it up and do that research for me because i'll probably forget after like this little segment those are just like a bunch of random dirt have the sheep been eating all of this this grass 
for some reason and it just isn't growing back i don't know it, wait what is the simulation distance 12 interesting whoa i forgot how cool this generation is all right hopefully we don't die i can make that too easy I also got to make sure eventually I, uh, like, get respiration on my helmet. Because <laughs> if you guys don't know, I have a very unlucky series of events whenever it comes to water and caves and stuff. Uh, go look at the... F I think it's the first episode of Quest Collectors that I tied in a water cave. Because, like, I dug up and I dug all the way to the air pocket or where I thought there was going to be an air pocket. And then right above it was another source block of water. That was one of the most unfortunate moments in my life. Besides my dad leaving me. So me absolutely forgetting to put away stuff. <clears throat> is probably one of the best things ever. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do this. Oh, man. I don't really need two buckets of or a bucket of water, right? There we go. Consolidate it. A little bit another where we can get back at home okay sand time bit of sand has been achieved let's go check our uh how many sacks can i make one two three three and 16 yeah so we'll have like four stacks total which i think will be enough so that means we need how many uh 15 sacks of gunpowder like the, yes that math that math math maths and math also, it's time to breed the cows. All the moo moos. Alright, boom. Boom, boom. And then a boop. Do I even have 15 slots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. I do not. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Uh, I'm starting to get really tired. So, we're just gonna put this in there and put that in there. Alright, all right. now we definitely have enough slots. <laughs> Oop, and take that. Never know when you'll need a crafting table, so... Okay, interesting. So, I always take that. Also, I don't know if I showed this on camera, but... We gotta go check that out in a future episode. Yes, of course, I took all the gunpowder out. Well, uh, let's throw that in there. And then, um... I think it is time to make my way all the way up. <laughs> all the way up the, the ladder here. Um, and I'm going to AFK at the top of... Also, another great thing about single player, you don't lag on boats. I know, it's crazy, right? Um, they really need to fix that or something around that or find a fix for it. Oh my gosh. Any Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and climb this ladder. Um, it's going to take... Oh, hi there. It's going to take a little bit, but, uh, yeah. How are you guys doing? Hopefully your day is going well. I actually, uh, like, unironically, I should ask. Uh, my day has been going pretty all right. Uh, it's just been a normal old, normal old Monday today. I think it's a little date on the video, I guess. But today is a, a normal day. A normal Monday at that. So, a little hectic for some people that I know. But pretty normal for me. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> We're almost there, actually. So... Man, that didn't really take that long. Like, as long as I thought. I wish they made climbing or climbing ladders, like, a bit faster. Whoa. My WT got stuck or something right there? That was weird. All right. Time to stand in my little cage here and look down upon the world. Hello. All right. I will be back with you guys tomorrow.
Alrighty guys, so I'm back uh, on the world and I checked this morning. It's actually quite later in the day. So I checked this morning and we have a lot of stuff. So the chest fill up this way from right to left. And so basically we have all each chest full. We have about 11 double chest full of a bunch of goodies, um, which uh, we only really want the gunpowder from this. So... Yeah, oh my god, that's a lot. Uh, let's see, we don't have shulkers yet because we haven't been to the end, by the way. So that's one, two, three, three and some stacks, which is actually exactly what we need. Uh, okay, there's a the boat. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot more gunpowder and we have a lot more bones and rotten flesh and string as well as a, a byproduct of this farm. Um I expanded the bottom area here because they were falling on the ledge and getting stuck, and I, I didn't really like that. Uh, I also got Bobby uh, on our uh, version that we're playing on here, so now we can see a lot further, uh, even though it is raining, but you can see stuff is like loading in a lot sooner. So uh, it should be pretty good uh, as we go throughout our world here. Bobby should load everything up pretty pretty well. So. Uh, I just thought it'd be a lot cooler that we could see a lot further, even though stuff is going to be like in the fog by that point. But I think that might look pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll get back here. Uh, we did need three stacks, I believe. It, it is the next day, so I'm a little foggy about exactly how much we needed. But I think I, we, or I think I said three stacks uh, is how much sand I got. Uh, not three sacks of gunpowder, but three sacks of TNT. So I think we can just go up here. I'll dump this stuff off around here. Show that. Three, four. And then we can just make TNT. Boom. That. And I think, yeah, that was all the sand that we had. So let's go ahead and put that there boom all right so we got four stacks of tnt <laughs> i think that's enough uh hopefully that's enough that would be insane if we had to use a lot more but now we can go into the end uh, move that around uh now we can get or not end we can go into the nether and we should be okay So we can actually, we can make another netherite ingot. I didn't even really realize that. Uh, let's see. So for gold, uh, we'll take one of these smithing templates for the netherite upgrade. Uh, next, we're going to put it on the sword for sure. Um, definitely want to get our sword upgraded so it lasts a little bit longer. So let's put away anything that we don't really need. So go ahead and keep a bow just in case of gas want to say hi. But we can do that, that, we're going to use those. And then I think, I think those will be okay. I'll go ahead and put the buckets back. We don't need them in another. So uh, just take the bare necessities. So if we do die in lava, we don't lose everything. Uh, we'll do that. And then, all right, ingots. Boom, boom, boom. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Netherite sword, baby. We're getting there. Okay. Let's see. Does Bobby affect the nether? I'm not entirely sure. I know I also put my render distance up to 32. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I can see a lot further. Okay. So, I forgot. I forgot I had to do that with Bobby. Uh, well, eventually the fog just gets in the way, so... Well, actually, can I turn off fog even? I can turn off fog, right? Oh, okay, there we go. So if I put it at 100%, we should be able to see all the way to 64 chunks now. That looks about right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that works. All right, now we can see really far into the nether, which I, I really like. The nether looks so cool without fog. Mm. Where do I need to go? Oh, yeah, we should probably try and stay away from a lava lake if we can. Which, I know that's really hard to do in the nether. Over here looks a lot more promising. Okay. So, we should be able to get 
all the way down here and then all we gotta do is just mine into here and hope for the best okay what do we need to go to y level 15 i believe Right here, Y level 15. All right, so all we gotta do is we gotta run in a straight line for a long while. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep the netherrack in my offhand just so I can easily place this. Oh, and I guess we get quartz out of it too. Look at that place, too quick, I'm too quick. Oh, I should have brought... Guess I should have brought my shovel. Well, that was scary. Right. Oops. Oops. Oh my goodness, what is that sound? Why are there so many spooky sounds going on? I know it's the nether and it like needs to be kind of scary, but bro. Okay. Yep, nope. We're gonna, we're gonna backtrack a little. All right, don't go past there. All right, so now we should be able to I think it's like so scar I think runs with it but that's really dangerous so no how I do it is I place it at a TNT every other block and then by the time you get all the way back down okay I can I realize that I could turn the sounds back down because they it is so loud uh okay so we should be able to, by the time we get all the way back down to that right there, we can light it off and it will boom, boom. Okay, I don't really want to blow up the stairs, so I'm going to step back. Ow. Any agent boy? Any agent boy for me? All right. Ooh, that's a big old three vein. Holy schmuck. All right. <laughs> okay, so that should get rid of that lava. Was there any, any more that I might have missed? Okay, there's a little bit more. Oh, it stopped. Ah, I don't like that. Hooray! We got three. We're gonna ignore that. That that happened. All right, patch up all these little lava pockets before we run in. Gosh, I don't want to die in lava. That would suck. Dude, that sounds like an Enderman kind of. It's kind of weird. Now nah, I'll light it off eventually, right? Or do I have fire tick turned off? I might have fire t fire tick turned off. Probably turn them back on actually. Uh, okay, there wasn't a whole lot left. Dude, it is blowing up this gravel like no tomorrow too. All right, so now we should be able to... I don't think there's any more in here. We should just be able to... Go back up to Y level 15. Real quick. 
and all we got to do is mine forward once again repeat the process uh hopefully we don't run into lava super soon because i kind of want this to be a long one long tunnel i'm gonna get rid of this lava it almost killed me all right any more no more darn it i was really hoping okay uh, how much do we have? 10? So that's enough for two ingots. So we could do the shovel and the axe. Meaning we need five more? Five more? Yeah, because we have another pick and then we have these. So it should be okay. All right, let's get up to Y level 15 again. There we go. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, that's a nice greeting. Uh, is there any more around? No. Lone Trooper. Oh boy, guys. We got a long one. Heck yes. This is what we needed. Should be a ton of ancient debris throughout here. Hopefully. Okay, and that is our cue to leave. <laughs> that was weird timing. Okay. So we'll start there. All right, got to make sure we go back through and check to make sure we didn't miss any. So 27 ancient debris, that's enough for... Oh, that's almost seven. So that's like six and three. I only need one more. I have 42 more TNT, so I guess we could if we really wanted to. Um, I'm going to think about it. Maybe uh, maybe I'll, uh, I'll go through and find one, though. I really don't want to mine another tunnel and try and find one. So hopefully I actually missed one. Uh, I'm really, really, really hoping I actually missed one. Oh, I did. Let's go. <laughs> That's weird timing. All right. Well, uh, I've had a lot of weird timing today with whenever I actually start speaking for the video and finding stuff or stuff just happens to appear whenever I'm talking about it. Okay. Um, weird freaky noise part two. Enderman? <laughs> what the heck? Weird moment. Weird, weird, weird. All right, let's get out of the nether. Oh, gosh. 28 ancient debris. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's done. It's finally done. I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to come back here ever again. Well, probably in the future I'll do some <gasps> Run! Run! Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. Get scared away from the piglin. Piglind. Yeah, we'll probably come back in here, uh, make like an actual nether hub or something like that. Uh, this is actually like a decent place to do that as well. There's not a whole lot of hostility around the area, so all we gotta watch for is gas mostly. Uh, alright. Oh gosh, it's nighttime. Every time I come back through the portal, it's nighttime. Oh my god! I forgot I haven't slept in freaking, I don't even know how long, like eight hours in real time worth. Uh, okay, well, there we go. There goes away are all of our problems for the night. Um, all right, let's go ahead. We'll place all that there. And get your quartz. Oh, yeah. More materials. Okay, let's go ahead and get this netherite smelted up and we'll put it on our, our gear. Uh, I'm debating... So, yeah, this armor kind of kind of dookie. I mean, I guess we could just disenchant it, right? So we don't have to use more diamonds. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that. So let's grab the smithing armor templates. We'll do that. Get these bad boys back into our inventory. Inventory. Uh, all right, we'll do that. So we got the armor uh, shields. Always need my tools on me. Um, there we go. All right. Uh, let's see. 
Do we need anything else? How many diamonds? Oh my gosh, I have eight diamonds. I need to go mining again, I guess. Uh, soul, speed, soul speed three. We'll definitely put that on our pants. Um, eventually. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I got quite a bit of gold nuggets actually from that. So we can make another piece of netherite. Heck yeah. All right, uh, we'll upgrade the other pickaxe real quick. Oh, actually, can you put ancient debris in the blast furnace? Yes, and it cooks up a lot quicker. Oh, I'm glad I remembered that. I didn't want to wait through another 15 pieces of netherite or ancient debris to cook up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Dude, the blast furnace and the smoker are like one of the best things to be added to this game. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I really like they're one of my favorite items to ever exist. Okay, now we can just do the armor. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. We need it. So for our world here, I really want to keep everything really close to each other or at least within a horsing or walking distance to one another. Uh, because I I don't really want to use the elytra. I have grown kind of negative towards the elytra. Uh, I think it's great if we need to get to like, uh, let's say the mob farm that's all the way over there to get resources or anything like that. Or if we need to go out adventuring and I don't want to spend all day traveling 10,000 blocks <laughs> in order to get to where I need to go. Uh, so I think that that will be probably the only limitations uh, that we have uh, whenever it comes to using the elytra. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, full netherite. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Yum, yum, yum. So nice. All right, uh, let's see. So where did I put... Oh yeah, I guess I have the enchanting table all... The all the way over here. Actually, I want to see how the bamboo farm is doing really quick. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh, I forgot I got another fortune three pick as well. Okay, uh, let's take off our armor. We are going to disenchant all of this baloney booty booty armor. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, let's see. All right, so. We also need to go back to the village and actually get some more mending books as well. But I can do that. I can do that off camera or a little bit later or something like that because that's going to take a while. Um, well, uh, to be honest, I've actually been recording for a little bit. I'm starting to run out of time for this video. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video on that note. <laughs> and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit that like button down below. We're full netherite it out finally. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, just a good spot to end the video. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching again. Uh, hit the like button down below if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.